So today I'm going to be doing a review of the animated movie Sausage Party. Now Sausage Party is an R-rated movie and it is not something you would want to take your children to see. Definitely if you're under 16, 15 years old, do not see this movie. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm 16, nearly 17. I'm a little traumatized by it. Now, I'm not going to go heavily into spoiler, but I do just want to give my thoughts on it. Now, this movie ta ta tackles a lot of very real-world topics, and it's a very Toy Story-esque movie, which is very weird and very unique, and that's what I really like about it. It is unique and interesting. So, the premise of the movie is in a world where hot dogs and all food is alive, but the humans are unaware of it. Just like Toy Story. But the difference here is that the food, the produce, if you will, the produce, believes that, that and this is where we get into the weird territory, believes that when they, when they are picked up by the humans at the supermarket, they are taken to the beyond world, which is heaven, and that we humans are gods, and when taken to the beyond world, they will live with us humans in peace. So. But a, a ton of circumstances lead the main character, Frank, a, a sausage, to realize, and his friends to realize that that's not true. That when they leave the supermarket, they are cooked and eaten alive. And this movie managed to make me feel sympathetic for a hot dog. Okay, I, and there is death. This movie is food gore. It has food gore, and it just, it's so violent when the, when the food gore is there. It's unbelievable. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. No, but it just, it's incredibly violent. The food gore is violent, and it's like something out of a horror movie. It's horrifying, and when you watch it, you're kind of thinking, if food had a conscience, a conscience, we are terrible, terrible people. Because if food was alive, like when we were eating it, would this be what it looked like for the food? Like, would this be the hell we put them through? And it, it raises a great question. But it also tackles a ton of world, real world stuff. A big one is uh, rationalism versus belief. It covered that. There's actually a line where, he, where the main character said something along the lines of, I'm going to be paraphrasing here, but... Where he pretty much said, if you can't, like, see things my way, then I can't see myself having a rational conversation with you. Which sounds like something you would see in an argument between somebody, between a, a religious person and an atheist. There's also, I just want to say to this movie, this movie is made to offend everyone. If you are an incredibly sensitive person, do not watch it. This movie, because this movie insults about every religion and every race you can think of. This movie is racist, insulting, and if you can't take that, you, you will hate this movie and you will be incredibly offended. This movie is very stereotypical. It has, a, it has pretty much almost any stereotype you can think of that relates to food. It has Mexican stereotypes with Mexican food. It has like, there's like one thing where there's like, oh there's like one, there's, there's, there's like some Nazi stuff in here, there's some of the German food. There's even like a food version, there's a food version of Hitler in this movie. Without, that isn't really a spoiler, it's not really, it's just, it's just a spoiler, kind of a spoiler for a joke. But yeah, I mean it's a it's very dark, it's not dark humor, but it's very, very adult humor. So yeah, you have to be careful because you're very sensitive and you're going to hate it. But is there, what, is there isn't much more to the movie I can say without spoiling it. I can't say the ending, alright? The final act of this movie is the kind of final act that you're just laughing, but you're laughing because you're more like, not because it's funny. No, it's not funny. You're laughing? It, well, it is kind of funny, but it's... You're more so laughing because you're like, what? What? they can't do this. Like, they, 
is the one thing you would expect them not to do in this movie. But they do. I'm surprised it, it, it wasn't it was able to get the R rating. I would give it something worse. And that was the whole movie was like the ending. And the ending is... Yeah, but... After the final act, there's another scene. Which I would not find of. I'm not going to spoil it. But it was clearly shoehorned in there for a sequel, maybe, or something. I'm not sure why that was there. I didn't think it was funny or interesting. I thought it was weird. But it's a very, very good movie. I loved it. It's probably one of my favorite movies of all time. It's the first movie I've seen in a long probably since Deadpool, that has had me just... I, I, I cried from laughing once or twice. That was just... That's how amazing this movie is. No, but I mean, don't get me wrong, there were some problems with it. Like, there was this bagel and this... This thing. I'm not actually sure what it was. Uh, the people I, I watched it with a couple of other people in my Discord chat. I watched it with, like, Dr. Love... And, uh, Mr. Ninja Star, T-Dub, and a couple of other YouTubers. But, yeah, none of us were like sure what it was. But I do know it, it was supposed to be a Muslim stereotype. A Muslim and a Jim. I think it was supposed to be a... I mean, it was either a Muslim stereotype or a Jewish. I, what, I know it was there were one of the two. There was a bagel and a something. And... Both of them were, were stereotyped on Muslims and Jews, and, and Jews, and Jews, alright? Straight up with that. No, but, um, they, it was like, it was this whole joke, they didn't get along, they didn't like each other, and it went on, and on, and, and in the beginning, it was like, haha, they don't like each other because they're stereotypes, and haha, that's funny, and, and, and they're arguing over their aisle to the supermarket, and then... As they're traveling through the supermarket after they get separated from their friend, like trying to survive during, at night, it gets older and older until the point where you're just like, okay, they don't like each other. We get it. Now shut the hell up. It got really annoying really fast. No, but there was a lot of, uh, I don't want to spoil anything, but I will just say the way they handle certain things is very creative. I wouldn't think about it, and I let's just, just, just say, on the next time I eat a hot dog, this, whenever you eat, if you see this movie, it will change the way you eat hot dogs. When you make, when you put a, when you put a sausage into a hot dog bun, this movie will change the things that you think of in that moment. It is a bizarre movie, but yeah, it's a really good movie. I enjoyed it. If anything, it, my major thing would be don't take a child to see it. I would say if you're under 15, 14, you should uh, no, 15. And even that, it, pushing it. I'm, I'm really just saying that because I'm 16, I saw it. I'm fine. It's not even really disturbed, it's just weirded out and just like, what, 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 what. Uh, it's one of those movies where I had to wait like 30 minutes afterwards because I was just like, uh, um, um, uh, w w what did I just watch? Really, it, 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 one of those things where you're going to watch it, and you're not going to know what you just watched. It is a really good movie, though. It is hilarious. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna say, it is fun, it is, I think it may be funnier than Deadpool, honestly. It's better than Deadpool in the way as Deadpool, you need, there were a lot of jokes in Deadpool you needed just, you just needed to get. You were going to get. Almost every joke in this movie. There are no inside jokes in this. They're all very obvious. And another thing. When they tackle the real world issues in this. It's not like. Oh dance around. No it's like. It's like literally. Like the main character at one point. When there was a line I said earlier. Where he talking about rationalism versus belief. Those the two characters having the argument. Must. Rise, must might as well stay. I'm a religious person, and I believe in God, and the other guy might as well say, I'm an atheist, I don't, I believe in science. They literally might as well say that. Like, it is so in your face. It is not even funny. But, 
But yeah, I mean, it's a very good movie. I love it. I know that's all I've been saying. It's had like four minutes. No, but I mean, I also like how it really it makes you think about one of the most basic human things we do. The most basic thing we do. We eat food. I eat food. You eat food. I, that's, I'm eating French fries right now. Made my I made myself some French fries. That's the movie because this movie will make you very hungry. Have food on you. Do not watch this movie when you do not have access to food. Do it you are for any reason or like, and you're good. So, this is not a movie to plan to watch, like if you're like in the hospital or going to the doctor or something. Like, like, this is not a movie I would watch when I'm going in for like an MRI and I'm being like sedated and I can't eat. I would never watch it. No, it makes you very hungry. Don't do that. No, but it just, it tackles the issues it tackles head on and I like it. It doesn't dash around on it. It's not like you, you have to like really look forward to pick it up. I normally don't always pick up on real world issues that are ta tackled and everything. I pick up on it 90% of the time. 10% of the time I won't notice it. You are going to pick up on all of this 100% of the time. If I had you know, the animation. You know, we'll move on quickly to the animation. It's nothing spectacular. It's not like it's something, but it's good. It's unique in its own way, but it's nothing spectacular. It's not like it's out of a Disney movie that it's rated R and it, it, it yeah. But it does have a lot of singing. It does think it's, it's like an, it's like, it's like an R rated Disney movie. And it gets off that like, it has, it has the musical numbers in it. It has a musical number in the beginning. Which was great. I think, I think the guy who did Aladdin, with, uh, going on, the guy who did Aladdin did the music for that. Yeah. That will be more mind-blowing when you see it. No, it's a really good movie. Music is great. Animation is not nothing spectacular, but it's unique in its own way. And it uses the fact that it's animated to its, the full extent. There are, I could name a lot of things in this movie that could never be made in, in live action. Neither with the most defensive DG in the world. They just would not work. They did the movie was really well made, and last of all, not last but last but not least, sorry, this video is encrypted. I'm doing it off the cuff after seeing it like an hour ago, but last but not least, voice acting was great. There were no voice actors that I didn't believe. Everything felt natural. It was a really good movie. I really liked it. You should definitely check out Sausage Party if you can find it online. Preferably buy it. I always say preferably support it. But if you can find it online, you should, if you can find it in a store, get it. If you don't want, if you don't want to, however, be prepared. If the, if the person knows anything about it, they may look at you weird. So maybe it would be best to buy it online. I'm not really sure it's up to you. That's, uh, let's just say if you, if you know anything about the movie and some of the stuff that's in it. Like if you, if, if that, if the person you're buying at the store knows the ending of the movie, they're going to probably look at you weirdly. They'll either laugh or they'll think you're freaking crazy. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Sausage Party. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. If you've seen the movie, please don't spoil it in the comments. You can certainly tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. But just don't spoil it. This is a spoiler free review for a reason. But yeah, have a great day. And I know this is different from what I normally do. But I want to start trying to review the movies I see. Because I don't see movies often. Like, if anything, most of my review movie review will probably be like DC movie reviews and Marvel movie reviews from now on. But I saw this and I was like, to hell with it. I can review it, right? Like, I, I got nothing better to do. So yeah, peace out, guys.